Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Saturday, July 22nd. To be heat advisory in this fact, with everyone expected to be in the 90s to low triple digits by Sunday, with a breezy wind pattern returning for early next week, and I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Keep what's we're going to focus on today. Hot and dry weather is expected to continue through the weekend. We're looking at highs in the 90s to low triple digits for just about everybody with potential record daily high temperatures possible. We'll see increasing fire weather danger, especially into this weekend into early next week, with a period of above normal temperatures and very dry conditions, as coupled with some stronger winds arriving for early next week. Cooler and unsettled weather will return for early next week, so we'll see best thunderstorm coverage later in the day on Sunday and into Monday, with decreasing chances for Tuesday and Wednesday. Quick look at satellite out there this morning. Not a whole lot going on. We did see a shower and thunderstorm work through Island Park earlier in this evening, uh, but overall should be a fairly quiet day, looking at slight chances of some showers and thunderstorms across portions of western Utah and eastern Nevada. But other than that, it should be a very beautiful day. Water vapor satellite, see there, high pressure dominating the region. We'll see a high pressure ridge continue to work inland into our area, bring it some very warm temperatures. So again, everyone should be in the 90s to low triple digits by this afternoon and into Sunday as well, with some potential record highs possible. Bigger picture, we'll be keeping an eye on this low here, very impressively wide system here, a couple thousand miles wide. This will be continuing to work further into our area, and again, tapping into a little bit of that monsoonal moisture, starting to see that here uh, work around this four corners high that's currently situated further to our south. So we'll see some of that tapping into this system as it works closer to our area, keep an eye on wind and thunderstorms for you. Weather is for your next five days. Main concerns over the next two will center around heat with chances for thunderstorms across the entire area on Sunday. Into Monday, we're going to keep the chances for thunderstorms going with increasing wind concerns as those two systems again will start to work closer into our area. See decreasing coverage of thunderstorms for Tuesday and Wednesday, but still looking at some breezy to locally gusty winds for Tuesday and Wednesday. Watches, warnings, and advisories. Nothing's changed here since yesterday. Still got a heat advisory in effect for large portions of southeast Idaho. Here's where you can expect those highs to be in the mid-90s to low triple digits. Cloud of ground on lake yesterday, so overall it was fairly isolated activity outside of southern Bannock and Franklin County. Had a pretty impressive storm work up and over there through the Swan Valley area down into Preston. With plenty of lightning and hail reported with that system and gusts to about 30 to 40 miles an hour. Storm Prediction Center Day 1 Outlook Store. Here's where you can expect some of those thunderstorms today. Just around Oakley, Twin Falls County, into Cache County. Maybe some isolated storms potential elsewhere and into the overnight hours. But overall, should be a very dry day. Probability of thunder. Again, best chances will be remaining in eastern Nevada and western Utah. Less than a 10% chance here in Idaho. Storm Prediction Center Day 2 Outlook. So let's take a look at Sunday. You're going to see widespread chances for isolated thunderstorm activity, particularly in the afternoon hours. Could see a rumble of thunder or two Saturday night into Sunday, but overall looking at best coverage Sunday afternoon. And the probability of thunder, again, just about a 10 to 50% chance. Best chances, again, will be across eight portions of eastern Idaho. And Day 3 Outlooks, we're keeping the unsettled weather going into Monday. Again, just about everybody stands a chance to see those thunderstorms again on Monday, peaking during the afternoon hours. Here's an update on the Hayden fires. We're currently looking at about 3,000 acres and growing with over 250 personnel working on the fire up there in the Lemhi Range, just east of Ellis and south of Salmon. High temperatures today, so it should be an overall well above normal day. We'll see afternoon highs in the 90s to low triple digits. Warmest areas getting up to about 103 portions of the Lower Snake Plain in Magic Valley. Wind gusts today, so it should be overall fairly lighter from what we're going to see over the next couple days, but overall gusts this afternoon about 20 to 30 miles an hour. High temperatures for your Sunday, so overall going to see temperatures continue to warm across portions of eastern Idaho, but stay just about where they were across central Idaho and southern Idaho. Uh, but again, afternoon highs looking at 90s to low triple digits, warmest areas around 103, 104 potentially around American Falls. Wind gusts on Sunday, start to see those winds begin to increase just slightly for your Sunday. See afternoon wind gusts maybe about 20 to 35 miles an hour, pushing about 40 across portions of the Snake Plain. High temperatures for Monday, so at least a little bit cooler for your Monday with those breezier winds starting to work in. But overall, afternoon highs on Monday keeping very warm. Still going to be in the 80s to mid-90s, pushing the upper 90s across portions of the lower valleys. Wind gusts for your Monday, so noticeably windier going to be winds are going to be moving in for your Monday. So we're going to see afternoon wind gusts anywhere from about 30 to 45 miles an hour. Could be locally stronger, pushing about 50, 55. Some of those wind-prone areas around the Central Mountains and Arco Mud Lake Desert area. So keeping an eye on that for Monday. And Star Prediction Center has outlined our area and some increased critical fire weather concerns as we head into early next week. It's got a lot of dry fuels out there, and we'll see very strong synoptic winds with some very dry air still at the surface. So keep an eye on that for your Monday. High temperatures on Tuesday, noticeably cooler. Uh, we're going to see afternoon highs back into the low 80s and 90s. So losing that coverage of mid-90s, that'll be out of here by Tuesday. So if you're looking for some cooler weather, Tuesday is looking like a great day. Wind gusts on Tuesday, going to keep with that breezy wind trend for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Again, looking at gusts between about 30 to 45 miles an hour. Some of that could be locally stronger. 
Storm predictions are again on day four. So here's a look at that Tuesday outlook. So again, favoring some potential critical fire weather conditions across much of the Snake Plain, and that could be extended into the mountains, depending on where we're seeing those critical fuels. High temperatures on Wednesday, just about where we were going to stay on Tuesday. So overall staying fairly pleasant and near normal. We'll see afternoon highs in the 80s to mid-90s. And wind gusts on Wednesday, not to sound like a broken record, but we're going to have just increasing winds. Again, uh, trending slightly down for Monday and Tuesday, but gusts again about 25 to 40 miles an hour. Some of that could be locally stronger. And that's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have a great weekend.